Welcome! This video will show you the basics of citing a website in MLA 8. So MLA has nine core elements. Author, title of source, title of container, other contributors, version, number, publisher, publication date, and finally, location. We are going to use these elements to cite this article from the Atlantic Magazine website. First, let's figure out who the author is. Which individual is responsible for this article, web page, blog post, etc.? In this case, it is Isabel Henderson. If you don't have an author, either skip this step or use the name of the organization responsible for the website. Since we do have an author, we're going to put her name. Henderson Isabel. Next is the title of the source. So what is the title of the article, blog post, web page, etc.? Note, since the article or web page is part of a larger whole, which would be the entire website, this will be in quotation marks. The title of our article is Big in Bolivia, Zebras in the Streets. So we're going to put the title in quotation marks right after the author's name. Now we look for the title of the container. So what is the name of the website as a whole? You can often figure out the name of the website by looking at the top or bottom of the web page. In this case, it is The Atlantic. Now we find the publisher of the website. This may be the same or similar to the name of the website. So for example, I could use the name of the magazine this article was originally published in, The Atlantic. But let's look at the web page again. At the bottom of the page, it lists the Atlantic Monthly Group as the copyright holders, which I could use since that is the company name of the magazine. However, if I click on Contact Us, it lists Atlantic Media as the parent company, which owns other magazines and news sites. So the Atlantic, the Atlantic Monthly Group, and Atlantic Media would all be correct. You just have to use your best judgment. Since it's the parent company, I'm going with Atlantic Media. Now we use the publication date. When was the article or blog posted? When was the web page last updated? Note, this is different than the copyright date. If you can't find a date, leave it blank. The date for this article is March 2017. Notice that the months are abbreviated. Lastly, we have the location. Where can you find the source? For websites, you use the web link, also known as the URL. And here we have an MLA8 citation for an article found on a website. 